Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning and welcome to today's meditation on the Daily Fountain. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us in this study of today to honor you and your word in everything that it may be grafted in our hearts to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. The theme is Christian husband and wife relationship. And our text is taken from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, beginning to read at verse 21. Ephesians chapter 5, 21. Submitting to one another in the fear of God. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives. Just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husband ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever ate his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let each one of you, in particular, so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife See that she respects her husband. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. True Christian marriage is the one where a husband and a wife seek to honor Christ as Lord in their marriage by submitting to the word of God willingly. It is a marriage where the authority and the lordship of Jesus Christ is accepted by both husband and wife. In the beginning, God instituted marriage between a man and a woman for mutual benefit and to bring glory to his name. We find that in Genesis 1, 26 to 31, 2, 15. I read Genesis 2, chapter 2, verse 15. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. Now, let us sin entered the world and corrupted all things, 
including marriage relationship. But through Christ, God is restoring all things to his glory. We should aim to have Christian marriages and not marriage as practiced in the world outside Christ. To achieve this, the word of God has provided the unfailing wisdom to guide the man and his wife. God instructed the woman to submit to her husband as unto the Lord. Ephesians 5 verse 22 says, Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. Many women today cringe at the word submission. I am not surprised. First, let me explain what submission is not, then what it is. Submission is not absorption into a man. God does not call a woman to be a non-person in the name of submission. Neither is it appeasement with the wife doing everything her husband tells her in order to pacify him. No, that is not submission. What if he asks her to sin? Is she to obey in order to keep the peace? Of course not. But aren't women called to submit to their husband in everything, just as the church is subject to Christ? Ephesians 5.24 Yes, in everything, except sin. What then is submission? It is a willingness to yield to a husband, authority, and to support his leadership. Whenever that leadership does not lead to sin, notice Paul's words, submit Ask to the Lord. In my experience, if a woman has problems submitting to her husband, she has problems also in submitting to the Lord. Just as the church is called to submit to Christ, so is a woman to her husband. Ephesians 5.25 Now we go to the men, husbands. Ephesians 5.25 it says, husbands, love your wives. Just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. God commanded the man to love his wife as Christ loves the church. What are husbands commanded to do in relation to their wives? They had to love them. To love in the same way that Christ loves the church. How does Christ love the church? First, he sanctified himself for her. If a man does not demonstrate a willingness to sacrifice himself on behalf of his wife, then there is little hope for that relationship. Husbands, are you willing to sacrifice your own pleasure to your wife? If not, then you have failing to follow in the footsteps of Christ. Second, he is the initiator of love. Why does the, the church love Christ? Christ poured his love into us and our hearts flamed in response. We loved because he first loved us. 1 John 4, 19. A man is designed to initiate a woman to respond. Tell him, 
he continuously seeks to beautify her. He is at work all the time attempting to make the church holy. Cleansing her from defilement. And one day, he will take her to himself without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish. Verse 27 of Ephesians 5. God wants every husband to dote on his wife, to give himself for her, to think up endless ways in which he can minister to her and make her happy. Since this is how Christ relates to a church, this is how husbands should relate to their wives. Even when their wife fails to submit, the husband is to still love her. Doing otherwise is dishonoring the Lord. Therefore, as husbands and wife honor the Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit empowers them to submit to each other and a marriage honorable and pleasing to God results. It is our prayer that the institution of marriage will be kept sacred so that the church will move forward and the sanctity of the church will be maintained. It is only in the marriage, the Christian husband and wife relationship in marriage that the sanctity of the church can be maintained. Let us pray. Oh, Father, help us to submit to you fully and absolutely. When we do so, then the matter of how we are to relate to each other will be resolved more easily through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. 